Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play the Seventh Saga. Last time we made it to the Western Continent, the Barluca Continent, and we've talked to this prophet and we found out what we need to do next. We need to find the Moonlight and send Garruso back to the Dark World before he before he takes over the world with his power. So, um, I'm going to explore the rest of this House of Healing real quick. Um, let's see. Yes, King Lamel. Oh, okay, so... King Lamel's a worldwide hero, not just a uh, hero on the first continent where he's from. And if you go into this building on the right side or this door here, uh, this is the actual House of Healing. So if you need it, it's there. All righty. Well, that's all we can do here now. So what I'm going to do now is I actually want to show you some of the enemies in this area. And there's actually a specific enemy that I'm looking for because I can win an, an item that's going to be very, very, very helpful for Wilm uh, in the future. I'll get out of the way. So let's see if we can find it. That was three Black Knights, and we can handle them now that we have the Moon Rune. Which is Moon Rune and Attack. Okay, more Black Knights. I'll probably just edit out the battle so I can get to the next point and show it to you. Or I'll just, you may see Sudden Jump. Okay, hopefully we'll find it uh, at some point. Um... One thing I will say about this area is you want to have a, you want to make sure that you have at least 200 HP at all times because there's just one enemy in here that can just wail on you and I'll show it you when I get a chance. Yep, here it is. Here's the enemy I was talking about. This is called a Doom, and you need to be very careful of this enemy. This isn't the enemy I'm looking for, but I'll show you this battle because these guys are very deadly. Okay, let's see. We're gonna watch for that. That's one of their most powerful attacks, is Fireball, so you need to be careful of that. Fortunately, you can kill them in one hit. Sometimes you can't, though, so I got lucky there. You may want to heal if you need to, but okay, that's a Doom. Okay, I need to sell some opals, so. Okay, well, that's just some of the enemies you can see. Uh, there's one more enemy that I haven't run into yet, so I'll just jump to that battle the next time I... The next time I... Uh, or when I run into the enemy I want. So you may see a sudden jump. Ah, here's the enemy I'm looking for, a sword. Now, I know it's a very unoriginal title, but that's what it is, it's a sword. Now, the thing that's unique about these swords, and I need to heal up, I'm sorry if I have to do that. There's something very unique about these swords. They have a defense of 500. Their defense is just massive. Ah, okay, well, you definitely need to have their defense up against this, because um, it's uh, it's got a very powerful physical attack. You need to watch out for it. Okay, that's fine. Now, what happens, what, what happens when I try to attack it? One damage. Well, that's not good. Okay, so this gives us a chance to use the Moon Rune. Alright, now we're ready. Now we'll defend and attack. It, what? I still only do one damage. Okay, well, let's try a different approach. Let's use the Light Rune. Now, the Light Rune increases your magic by 40. So now let's try Fire 2. See if that does any damage. And I still only do one. Okay, so your best bet is just to do physical attacks. And they only got like 7 HP or whatever. Now the thing now the reason that I wanted to face this sword is because no, whatever. Is because um anytime you defeat a sword, it has the opportunity. See, ouch, you gotta watch out for that. That's a very powerful physical attack. You gotta watch for that. Um it has the opportunity of dropping a sword. Hopefully I'll show that here in a minute. Okay, one more shot. Got him. Okay, let's see if he drops a sword. Oh yeah, see, so that's just a random sword. That's an anim animate sword or whatever. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to just uh, get into one more fight, or I'll head back to town and heal up, and then I'll show you defeating one more sword and getting the actual weapon that I want. Well, I won't show you the defeat, but I'll just show you I'll just show you getting the weapon that I want. Ah, and that's the weapon that I wanted to find, is a sword sword. Now, you may not notice my, uh, my level's at 20, uh, or my level's at 29, that's fine. Um, I got, actually got a level and then loaded an old save state to just show you this, to save some time. Okay, now we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom. And Will, believe it or not, can actually equip this weapon. Now watch what happens when you do that. Wow, his attack power jumps up to 25. 
as opposed to two what it was before. This is the only weapon in the game that Wilm can equip. So that's pretty cool. So I just wanted to show you that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to level up to level 31. And I'll meet you once I've leveled up to level 31. And I'll uh, meet you back here in a little bit. Okay, I made it up to level 31, but I'm actually at the town of Polasu because I want to show you something real fast. Um, we haven't fought Olven in quite a long time, and I happened to run into him. I was doing a partner check uh, just to try and get a little bit more experience. I happened to run into Olven, and um, he's actually gotten a lot stronger since the last time we fought him. So I wanted to show you the new strategy for facing Olven. Now, Wilm already has high speed, but we're going to make it even better. We're going to give ourselves a B agility. Yep. Olven is actually one of the more difficult apprentices, I think, because he has a good amount of hit points and his defense can go up pretty high. So you kind of got to be on the defensive in this battle, unfortunately. And his fire magic can do a lot of damage, so you need to watch out for that. The light rune can help with that. And he gives a good shot. Never be afraid to use a potion 2 or a potion 3 if you need to. And against these guys, I think it's not that big of a deal because we have a lot of money. And, um, we can spend some. Plus, these guys have good experience. Plus, it's also fun just beating up your friends, I think. Okay, move room. Yeah, now, now the B.O. Joey's kicking in. Defend attack. Another defend attack. Should take care of him. Got him. Alright. And we get 2,000 experience for that, so... I think it's a good idea to continue to fight your apprentices if you're looking for a level. Okay, so I just wanted to show you that. So now I'm going to go back to my... Back to Valencia, and we'll keep going. All right, I've defeated a few more of my apprentices. I just found them kicking around, and I've almost got another level up, so that's pretty cool. Okay, if we check our map, there's really only one place we can go, and that's just kind of explore that uh, lower part of the continent there. So, let's do it. We're going to start heading to the south. Yeah, um, it actually... When I was leveling earlier, it only took me about 10 minutes to get two levels uh, with turbo mode on in this area. The enemies actually get fairly good experience. Alright, so we're just going to keep heading to the south here. The apprentices fighting them at this point of the game is fun, especially with all the runes. Because you can just increase your power so high and just kind of wail away on them, it's fun. Plus using B agilities makes it even better. We have a lot of room to maneuver on the left hand side. Right, let's check my map here. Okay, yeah, we're doing good. So we're just going to follow the path, follow the mountain. Wow, man, I, I, I just got another sword sword. It took me like half an hour to find the first one, and then like five minutes to find this one. This was insane. Okay, let's check the map. Okay. And another level for Wilm. Awesome. I got to tell you, playing this game with turbo mode and with a solo challenge actually makes it bearable because you actually get levels kind of quickly. Well, comparatively to how you would do it normally. Okay. Man, Wilm's speed is just getting ridiculous. I mean, I, I almost dodged pretty much every single attack that battle. Oh, there's what I'm looking for. All right, let's see what we got here. Ah, the cave. Let's check it out. All right, ooh, this sounds like a pretty intense cave because we have... It's a regular cave, but we got dungeon music. Hmm. All right, and now we encounter the only enemy that you can face in this cave. It's an upgraded version of those spiders that we fought earlier. And they have pretty much the same kind of attacks. The only thing they can do differently is they can cast uh, Petrify. But we have mirrors for that, so really these guys are no threat. Definitely use the Star Rune and definitely use the Moon Rune, though. Because they can cause a good amount of damage. Okay, and... The other thing is, they have a lot of HP. They have like 450 HP. So that's why you gotta have that moon rune on. And they can poison you, so you wanna have a good supply of antidotes before you come here. And, um, if for some reason you don't, you can just go back and get them. Uh, you know, use the wind rune to get back, and, uh, you'll get more experience making the return trip. Alright. And these things are called P moons. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and call them power moons. Uh, just cause I can't think of a better name. Okay, let's use an antidote. And we use potion three. Alright, excellent. Now I'm probably not gonna have 
won't have time to show you the whole cave, but we'll get as far as we can. Um, one thing, one other thing I'll say about these P moons is, um, if you want to run from them, that is totally okay because I really don't think they give that much experience. And if you have fast enough speed like I've got, um, do not be. It's there's no shame in running from these. It, I really don't think. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, I got a potion three. Excellent. Can never have too many of those. Yeah, I'm almost out of time, so I'm going to go ahead and stop here. But next time, we will continue through this cave and see what's on the other side. But until then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Take care, y'all.